Right, today we're quickly going to look at the AC protection box. Um, it's not closed and everything, but this is just for in, for indication. So, what it is, what is it, and what is it for? So, basically, you still see there's a changeover switch. You got your SCOM coming in and your inverter coming in. So, for instance, say for instance, your inverter is only a three, uh, five kilowatt or three kilowatt, maybe a one kilowatt, and you need more electricity when the power is on, then you can simply switch it over to ESCOM. Otherwise, you can, if it's big enough, or you you can use it only on your lights and your essentials. And you've got enough power, then you have it there. But if there's a problem with your with your inverter for some reason. And uh, yes, it will happen sometime, hopefully not soon. You will actually just go and you can take it off and you can put it over to ESCOM and that will work. So this is just for indication's sake. So um, let's switch everything off. So there's the green light. This is for ESCOM and this is the uh, red one. That's for the inverter. So if your ESCOM power is on from the grid, so normally there's a MCB here that you normally switch it off like that. Then you have no power coming in. You, nothing is wrong. You cannot get shocked. But say for instance, both power are on. You've got your ESCOM on. You've got your inverter on. So as soon as you put it on, you will see ESCOM is coming in. When ESCOM goes out, it will go off. So now you've got your inverter, your inverter and ESCOM is coming in. So this is just the indication light that's on the 200 and 230 volts. So if you want to put it over to inverter, you just put it on. Um, yeah, and say for instance, there's enough power, the, the, you don't have enough power, you can simply flip it over to um, to your ESCOM. You can, uh, you can use it for a generator as well. So it's got the search protector in. So what I wanted to, this is going to be a bit long, but what I wanted to get to is the complications of the wires. So say for instance, ESCOM, um, your inverter is faulty and you've got it on there. And so if you have to do maintenance on it, you have to put it off everywhere as it indicates on the label and also on the MCB. Okay, so let's quickly have a look inside. So this is quite complex. Um, you've got your ESCOM coming in. It is off. You've got your ESCOM coming in. Then it goes to your changeover switch. Then you've got also the wire for the lights. You don't have to put the light on. And then, um, then on this side, so the, it's very difficult to do it neatly, but at the bottom there, there goes the inverter comes goes in. So you flip it over to ESCOM or inverter. So now I'm quickly going to go to one of our products from FIO and I'm going to show you it's basically the same, but it's just not that complex. Okay, so here's the other solution. That's a product that we bring in from FIO. It's a 63 amp multi um, manual transfer switch. So the box looks more or less the same, but you can see it is smaller, you know, compared to the other one. But the, um, so yeah, it works basically the same. Just so I'm just going to take the cover off again. So if you look in here, you'll see quite a difference. So basically, the power comes in at the top, your ESCOM or your generator and your inverter. So at the bottom, we just bridge them. So from here on, you go out. So just like this one. Um, so if the power comes on, say on the ESCOM side, and it's switched off, it's off. If it comes on the inverter side, so now both, both are working, so that's no problem. So if you want to use the inverter, you just push that one up. So now your load is running and if you have a problem with your inverter for some reason it's got a trip as well so it's got everything in there as well. So 
um, as soon as you want to put it over, it won't. You first have to put it off and switch ESCOM on. So this is two isolators, a transfer switch as well. So if you just want to throw it back onto the inverter, it's easy. It just trips on the other side. You can see the transfer as well. You just see the transfer is much quicker than the other one. If you put the inverter on, it really blinks. So yeah, if you look at that for installation, compared to that, um, yeah, it saves time. Uh, so yeah, <clears throat> go have a look at them. They are available. We've, we've got a few of them. We're going to bring in some more, but I hope it helped.